I am riding to all 852 quick trip locations throughout the Midwest on my motorcycle. So with the time that I do have left, I'm gonna focus on what I can do. And that should be completing all of the Wisconsin ones. All right, so I spent the last probably hour and a half rerouting my entire trip. So new routes have been updated into Spotwalla so I can see them hopefully when I have reception. I doubt it when I get up here, but I'm gonna re-download them into my little PC here and directly into the Garmin. So I've got them all laid out. I pretty much had to reroute the entire thing up here just to make it a little bit more conducive because I was going, I don't even know. This feels better. I'm also going to hit the Iron Michigan, Ironwood Michigan ones just because there is a Tour of Honor site up here. I don't know the next time I'm going to be up here. So that's why I'm kind of making a blip into Michigan for a bit. And then, yeah, so I feel comfortable with this. Technically, I've got four or five more days, so should should be good. I just don't know how long it's going to take me up here to get through some of these. So, fingers crossed. Let's get rolling here. Running into an issue. I believe it's my battery because it goes on. Uh, the screen doesn't even turn on now. I can't start it. It's got to be the battery. Oh, shoot. All right. Here's my update, guys. <laughs> this is not my bike. This morning, as I was leaving the hotel, my bike would not turn over. I, thankfully, was here in La Crosse. This is the Quick Trip headquarters area. Okay, but I was here in La Crosse. Just got out of the, I was about to get out of the hotel and my bike wouldn't turn on. So, it's like, all right, I got a battery issue. Thankfully, this is right around the like eight o'clock-ish mark. And <sighs> contacted the dealership here in town, which is Great River, um, Harley Davidson, literally, right across the street like my hotel is right over there and the gentleman a gentleman an employee that works at headquarters and quick trip was able to give me a jump start not the most ideal thing in the world but had to be done brought it to the dealership there was no display on it wouldn't turn over let them um, kind of look into it. I did a couple media interviews that I had scheduled with Quick Trip this morning, did that, came back, and they let me know that the state stater is shot, completely shot. So they are frantic and helping me. I'm so unbelievably appreciative of what they're doing, helping me to get the parts that I need. They're literally running to another dealership across the state to grab it, to come back here. The service guy is gonna work on it when he gets back later tonight. And I should have the bike up and rolling by um, tomorrow morning. That's the plan. So I'm currently on a newer model of the bike, this lovely yellow color. And I'm going to try to still get some of the remaining quick trip locations that I have within the lacrosse area to do and to make a little small loop out and about and bring it back in to get at least a little bit off my plate and not have a complete full day wasted. So, oh yeah, yeah, it has been a whirlwind of a day, but I'm glad and like, if I were to break down anywhere, this is the most ideal ideal situation that I could have ever asked for with what was happened like everything worked out and has been working out so well god it's it's oh 
This is good. <laughs> if not, I would have been in complete tears. <laughs> and I wouldn't have been able to probably accomplish what I'm going to. Yes, it's going to be probably a lot of longer later nights to make up for it. But I, I still feel good with what I've got planned. Okay, headed to Quick Trip HQ right now. to get my two receipts. We're over halfway through and I'm about halfway through the States. So I'm feeling okay, but I just need to keep rolling. I had so many stops, like over 200 stops yet to go and a lot of, mile, a lot of longer mileage days. Which probably is for the better because a lot of the like heavier condensed ones take up so much more time. So we got this. We're gonna make this happen, guys. But this is unfortunate. It really sets me back. It set me back pretty much the whole afternoon um, into the evening. I'm gonna hopefully be out of um, out of the area and make my way up north by tomorrow morning. So. Fingers crossed. I just wanted to let you guys know, update where I'm at. There's always something and there's always gonna be hurdles and roadblocks and that's part of the adventure, right? Never fails. Heck yeah, we're back in business. Oh, God, I'm ready to go. It's like almost nine o'clock in the morning and I feel behind. My Garmin is telling me, okay, yeah, go ahead, do this. It's freaking closed. I need to get there, right there. I don't know how the frick I'm gonna get there now. Ugh.